Hey guys, got a video review for you here. This is the first, I guess, winter review that I'll be doing. Um, this is of my Fisher 1000 low profile tailgate salter. Um, I'm gonna do a full review of the salter and uh, everything that I've done to it to make it a really uh, viable asset to any snow and ice uh, cleanup management, whatever you wanna call it. And then I'll show you the controller and how it interacts with the salter itself, along with any everything else that I've done uh, to the salter to, to just make it one of a kind. Start from the ground up here. This salter slides into the trailer hitch. It has two settings for the pin. Uh, the difference between the two settings for the pins are about three inches um, away from the bumper and closer to the bumper. Um, you have your whole subframe in here. Um, when I first got the salter, I uh, prepped the entire subframe. I took out the whole uh, poly thing and everything and I prepped the whole subframe and I sprayed it with the truck bed lining so never have to worry about um, erosion or rust or anything. Um, of the salt. This is your uh, guard that wraps all the way around and then this is your poly spinner disc. Uh, the poly is nice so if you were to back back up into something it flexes and when you drive away it just flops back down and keeps spinning. <clears throat> the low profile design on this is really nice because as you can tell I can see straight up um, over the dump body, through the back window, all the way through the windshield. Uh, when it does snow and anything, I take off the cab guard and the sides uh, just to give me a little bit more uh, better visibility. But because of the low profile in the salter, I can see straight back. Uh, not a problem at all. <clears throat> the lid is held on with these two little rubber straps. Kind of like an old style Jeep hood, I guess you can say. The lid just flops up like that. I believe this is an 8.1 cubic feet uh, capacity salter. Um, I, I, I put about 15 bags in here easily without a problem with about 3 inches to spare at the top. You can probably do 17 bags if you were to really load it. Um, down there is the auger that drives the salt into the spinner disc. Those two vertical rods you see is what Fisher calls the clump buster. Basically what it does is that if the salt were to get wet and clump up, before it hits the auger, those two vertical rods bust it up, then it can go into the auger, and then it gets pushed down into the disc, and then it flies out. <clears throat> From that auger is a straight direct drive to the motor, which is inside the uh, unit itself. Uh, so when you have a full load of salter in here, the unit is direct drive from the top all the way down to the bottom to the auger and to the spinner disc. So the torque that this motor puts out is very, very good, and it, you know, there's no belts to slip, no tensioning to do, anything like that. Uh, everything is direct drive. This tray is uh, 304 stainless along with the bolts that hold this, this poly cover on to the tray so uh, there's really nothing to worry about uh, rust wise um, in here itself. <clears throat> the electric for this salter obviously comes from the battery of the truck through the controller <clears throat> and it uses Fisher's regular uh, plow style connector. This four prong trailer connector that is on here as well is just an auxiliary uh, connector that I use that runs to the uh, engine compartment as well for my auxiliary lights as well as these little strobes that I put on here. I have them on the other side as well. These are my sight sticks that I put on here. They're basically just plow markers um, that I can see from the mirrors. And uh, basically I lined up the reflective tape with the brake light so when I step on the brake I can see the reflective tape in the mirror. Just so I know how close I am to some stuff. <clears throat> Show you the controller. So I get some light on it for you. <clears throat> That's the controller for the Fisher 1000 as well as some of the other uh, poly uh, salters I believe. The top left button is the start button, the bottom left is the off, along with the right side knob, which is the variable speed control. Obviously, um, you go to the minimum, it spreads closer to the truck, you put it to the maximum, it throws it further away from the truck. The top left button, which is the start button, is also the blast button, and I'll show you how that operates now, and uh, just show you its purpose. <clears throat> Let's turn this on. As you can see, it's on. Now, the further I turn this up, the more LEDs come up. 
And if I were to do this, full LEDs, that means that that spinner is really spinning at full tilt and it's spreading salt um, the furthest it can away from the truck. Now if I were to bring this down, as the LEDs disappear, I'm spreading closer to the truck. Now, the, like I said, the top left button is also the blast button. Now watch the LEDs when I hit the blast button. It goes full power until I let go of the button. So as long as I hold this button and let go, it's, a, it's on blast. The nicest thing about blast that I know of and that I use it for is when I'm doing uh, condo complexes and apartment complexes, when I'm doing people's driveways, I leave it at four. And then when I get to the intersections of some driveways or a cul-de-sac or anything, I hit, hit and hold the blast button and then let go when I get out of the intersection and it really covers it without having me, you know, have to control it by myself, which is really, really handy. And then the bottom left, like I said, is the off button. I'll also show you the lights and the strobes that I put on, on the salter. There's a one auxiliary light along with the other one. And then up on the salter are the strobes. Nothing crazy, just little white LEDs. Just put them on there just so people can, I guess, tell where the salter is if they really can't even see. But just a little thing, you can never have enough when people are out driving in the bed weather when they shouldn't be. Um, I also have corner strobes and the tail lights as well. <clears throat> but I don't leave them on when I drive. Um, so, another cool thing that I've done for this salter is um, nine times out of ten, I'm putting that salter on by myself. Um, so what I did was that I made up this little system here, just a regular old floor jack. I took out the round plate that a floor jack usually has, and I made this whole system up. It's an impact socket that I welded to a bigger piece of metal and a piece of plywood with some, with some casters. Pretty simple. Basically what happens is that this flips over and goes into that hole. And then the salter just gets cradled into that into those two by fours. So I can, like right now, if I was if I were to take the salter off, I'd pump it up to it. You know, take the weight off the trailer hitch and pull it right out, let it down. And then I can wheel it around the shop with the casters, and vice versa if I was to put it on. So it's a really really handy, uh, neat little way. If you're a single man doing it, um, you know, in a bind or whatever, it's a really nice situation to to be able to do that. <clears throat> also, if there's some salt left in the salter and you have to tow a trailer or something, you can just take the salter off without having to empty all the salt out first, which is just one more pain in the butt. <clears throat> uh, this salter I got for $1,400 um, with the variable speed controller. They do offer it with just on-off. I definitely, definitely recommend the variable speed controller. Um, just because there's different width driveways and everything else. You just don't know what you're going to encounter with a new customer. So I definitely recommend the variable speed controller. Um, like I said, I got it for $1,400. It's a leftover. Um, I think they're $1,550 if you were to get it, you know, if it was to come off the truck and then right into your truck. Um, but I love it. I haven't had an issue with it. Um, obviously, Fisher and, we and Western are the same company. So the Western 1000 is the... Same damn thing, only red, um, if anybody's looking at that as well. <clears throat> so, if anybody has any questions or anything, leave them below. And uh, if we ever do get snow soon, hopefully I'll be able to do a short in-action video of how close it can spread to the truck and then how far it throws salt itself. So, any questions or anything? Hopefully I'll get to them soon. Thanks.